All right, this next tip is a really useful one. I'm going to show you how to extract unique values using the advanced filter tool. Now, in Excel, there are a number of different ways to remove duplicates. Um, you can use the remove duplicates tool. You can use advanced filters. You can even use pivot tables or Power Query all to accomplish the same end result. Now, I actually like the advanced filter approach the most because it's the most flexible. And what I mean by that is that it allows you to either filter the list in place or overwrite the original list, which is how the remove duplicates tool works by default, or you can copy only the unique values to a new worksheet location. So let's say you have some data like this. I've got uh, dates, product IDs, and products. You know, maybe this is transaction data where a product might sell, you know, on multiple days or even multiple times within the same day meaning that that column C is likely to contain many duplicate values. Now, I'm going to show you how to extract only the uniques from column C using that advanced filter tool, which you can find in the data tab of your ribbon. And when you launch that filter tool, you can choose to either filter the original list in place or copy it to a new location. And the key is this checkbox at the bottom, unique records only. And what that's going to do is produce a list like this one shown in column F that contains only the uniques from our original column C. So really great tool. A couple common use cases here. Uh, for one, obviously just identifying uniques while preserving your original list, which may live as part of a larger table or data range. And then second, it's a great way to create new lookup or dimension tables containing only your unique primary keys. Now, to learn more about what that means, what lookup or dimension tables are all about, check out my intro to Power Query, Power Pivot, and DAX course. That's going to talk all about Excel's data modeling and relational database tools. So with that, let's take a look at a demo and actually practice extracting some uniques using that advanced filter tool. All right, so back in our Excel Pro Tips workbook, I'm in the blue Extracting Unique Values tab, and what we've got here is a list of the quantity of products sold. So we're looking at product names and IDs with the quantity sold per day. And if we scroll through, we'll see we've got a lot of different transactional records here uh, spanning about a month, about 20 days, but it's 5,000 uh, observations. So we know obviously that we've got some duplicates here in column C. And now the task is to turn that product list into a list of just uniques. So I want to know only the list of unique products that sold during this time period. And again, we can select column C, head to our data tab, and you might be tempted to use this remove duplicates button, but remember that this is going to remove those duplicates in place. And we don't want to do that because we want to keep the quantities, keep the products, and keep this transactional uh, tabular data set in place and intact. Instead, we're going to use this advanced option in our sort and filter tools. And from here, we're going to say, no, we don't want to filter it in place. We don't want to overwrite our original data. We want to move it to a new location. And this is our list range, C1 through C5001, which is correct. And we want to copy that to a new range, let's say F1. And here's the key. Check that unique records only box and press OK. And there you have it. Once we do that, you can see with the control arrow down shortcut that our list ends right here at 1490. So a lot of those duplicates were removed. So there you have it. Great way to use the advanced filter tool to give you a little bit more flexibility for extracting and identifying unique values.